Chrissies. This is Chrissy cooking at home. I'm Chrissy. Don't be too surprised. It's in the name. I am she. So today we are going to attempt to make a chocolate roulade with a raspberry cream cheese whipped cream filling with a chocolate ganache sauce topping thing. Sound yummy? The first time I attempted this, the cake broke in several places when I rolled it. So we're going to attempt again and hopefully you'll get to see the whole process. So let's get started. You ready? It tasted delicious. It just broke. So it's still going to taste good, but it may break again or may crack. If it cracks, if it breaks, the ganache sauce, gonna kind of hide the the raspberry cream cheese whipped filling it'll hide it you, you can still see the the break crack if it does but you know just play it off <laughs> okay so here we got uh, my ingredients are gathered together here um, plus a little something for me um, so what we have, what we're going to do first is our egg whites, but in this bowl, I went ahead and measured, um, one third cup of all purpose flour, one quarter cup of baking cocoa, and in the center here, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to put that aside. Okay. Four egg yolks, one third cup sugar, put that aside. Four egg whites, half cup sugar, teaspoon of vanilla, it's going to go with the egg yolks, put that aside. So in my mixing bowl, very clean, very, very clean, go to egg whites, we're going to do them first. So we're going to whip them to soft peaks. Now is a good time for fast forward. for stiff peaks now. That was the one half cup of sugar. So stiff peaks for like you would a meringue. And that's what we have. See it standing straight up? Straight up. No floppy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scrape this out. I'm going to scrape this out into a separate bowl and put it aside. And then I'm going to work really quickly. With my yolks. Because I only have one mixer, one beater. All right there. There. Look at that. Side. Grab my towel. I keep all my waste here. Try this out. I'm 
Let's say this off beater. We're going to add our vanilla. So that was our four yolks. So our four yolks with the vanilla, and we're going to beat it until it's a thick, lemony consistency. Thick consistency, lemony color. sunshine coming in the camera does weird lighting thing okay so now we're gonna add our sugar slowly while it's beating on high scrape the edges. And then we're gonna give it one final whirl for... Sorry, I bumped into you. I'm going to move you. How can you see? Can you see okay? Let me bring you down a little. Okay, now we're going to take the egg white meringue mixture, dump it into our egg yolk mixture. goodness. I took a fork and kind of mixed our cocoa flour and baking soda mixture together. And we're going to fold. We're gonna fold our two egg mixtures together. Okay? We're not stirring. There's a difference. Keeping our fluffy, thick, full, bubbly, air bubbles mixture. We don't want to deflate. We still have to fold in our flour mixture. Okay. Now we're going to take this. We're going to kind of sprinkle it on top. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. 
We're going to fold. Fold. Fold it again. Okay. Right now I'm not folding, I'm scraping the edges. Getting the edgy stuff on my spatula and then bringing my spatula down. Making sure I'm scraping my bowl has this dent. See that? So I'm definitely scraping around my dent. I know my equipment. Things will gather around that dent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape off the spatula with my finger. My hands are clean. Make sure your hands are clean. Okay, incorporated hip towel. Now, what I've done. Oh, what size is my pan? I forget. I think I can read the imprint. It is a 15 by 10 by 1 inch pan. 15 by 10 by 1. Greased and floured. Okay. We're going to put our batter in it. Oh, I left my spatula over on the island. Got it out, then I cleaned the island, and I left it over there. At least I got it out of the drawer, right? ERB. Okay. Gently guide it, smooth it out, gently. This does not take long to bake at all. 375, preheated at 375. You wanna get this in the oven right away. You do not want to wait. You do not want your air bubbles to deflate from whipping your eggs. Okay, okay. Darn smooth, even to me. Back on up. We're going to get it in the oven. Got it again. No. Fresh batteries. <laughs> okay, we're going to measure out six ounces of frozen raspberries into a pot. Okay. A little overboard. It's a big bag. It's the best I could do at the store I went to. Ooh, perfect on the dot, six ounces. Woohoo. Okay. So, now we're going to do, we're going to turn that on medium heat. And we're going to do half a cup of powdered sugar. Okay, okay. Back it on up seven minutes. 
So we need to get the raspberries in done and in the refrigerator cooling. I'm actually going to pop it in the freezer. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get this cooked um, up and then we're going to run it through a fine mesh sieve and um, get it cooling because we're going to marble it through our cream cheese with cream filling. But I don't want seeds. That's been my whole goal this whole time. No seeds and I'm sticking with it. yet this video seems a little long okay so let's make our filling the raspberry timer still <laughs> counting down I have like four seconds left you're about to hear it beep like crazy so I have one third fat green cheese I was hoping to find marsh mar marscapone cheesy but I did not either way if you find it grab it eight ounces of the one third less fat green cheese or marscapone cheese I'm getting pink. I feel my face is on fire. Okay, into the bowl with the whisk attachment. Lift up. We're gonna whip it until smooth, and then we're gonna add some whipping cream and some powdered sugar. Okay, people, and then we're going to add half a cup of whipping cream that's been in the fridge this whole time, so it's still cold, 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 cold. It's best when it's cold, cold, cold. Half a cup of powdered sugar. 
Why? Because I used a lot of baking cocoa on that cake. Okay, slow, because you're gonna have powdered sugar go poof. Whip it, whip it good. Okay, you scrape down edges and then you whip some more. So I'm just gonna move the beater out of the way. Scrape down, do you see it kind of whipping a little circle around the edges? I keep forgetting to adjust my arms. It's, I haven't adjusted my arms since I bought it and I move it so frequently to the shelves where I keep it. All right, whip and whip it. She is a beautiful creamy texture and after we roll this up and it sits in the fridge overnight this will get nice and um, stiff it won't be so loose but for now we are going to stick this in the fridge the raspberry sauce is in the freezer chilling getting thick this is going to go in the fridge and right before, you still see what I'm doing? I'm kind of working around you. Right before we fill the roulade and roll it back up, we will marble the raspberries sauce through this. Now I'm going to taste this and make sure it's exactly where I want it. Yep, that tastes really good. So, BRB. All right, so I just had to move you kind of out of my way a little bit, so I backed you up. So, it's nice and fluffy and creamy. And I know it probably looks kind of runny, but it, it is a little, you know, it looks a little runny to you, but it's so good. So this is going to go in the fridge and then after the cake is completely cooled, I'll pull this out of the fridge. I will take the raspberry sauce and um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to marble it through. I'm just going to pour the marble, pour the marble, huh? pour the raspberry sauce on top camera tries to auto adjust for the light for the window behind me because the sun's fine. Pour the raspberry sauce on top of this. Do a couple of quick swirl through, swirly throughs with, the, with a spoon or a knife or something to kind of get like a marble effect. Then I'll pour it on the roulade, on the cake, roll it back up, put it on my serving tray, 
then make the chocolate sauce ganache thing. It's doing something special with that, not something standard. Put it on the cake and then put it in the fridge for the next day. Yummy. Okay, we gotta move quickly here. I forgot to do this part while it was baking. The cake is out of the oven. It's on the cooling rack at the moment. We need to get some powdered sugar on a clean dish towel. And then we're gonna have to flip this cake on the dish towel and roll her up and then let it cool, cool completely. So wish me luck on the flipping. You're not gonna see this for a while. So keep your fingers crossed, even though <laughs> this is not live. Swiss roll cakes hate me, just so you know. Hate me. 25, 26 years of doing these sporadically, off and on, taking years breaks in between. Freaking hate me. Hate me. Okay. See cake? Okay, it's nice and crooked. That's great. We're going to pretend it's not. Onto cooling rack. And now, there it is. Okay, this is not the part that hates me. <laughs> no, no, no. The part that hates me. <laughs> okay, the part that hates me, hates me, truly hates me, is either unrolling it to fill it or re-rolling it after I have filled it and it breaks. So we'll see. See when it's time to fill it. Are you ready to try to unroll this roulade, this cake for the roulade and fill it and try to re-roll it and see if it doesn't break? Let's try. I think this is a good view for you. I think this is what I'm going to put it on. Seems like this little plate I've had for many, many years is good. My chocolate sauce is right here. My filling is here. Offset spatula. Put that back there. Okay. Okay. Fingers crossed. Slow. It's already cracking. These kinds of cakes hate me. They truly, truly hate me. It's cracked right here. Pretty good. A lot of filling.
see what I'm doing okay? I'm like, my jaw is clenched right now. You have no idea. Like, there's a reason I don't do these cakes very often. I saw this and was like, oh, I would so want to try it. I haven't done that style of cake, you know, jelly roll, Swiss roll, or roulade, whatever you want to call it. Cake by many name. In like, I don't know, eight or nine, ten years, I don't even know. Can't even pinpoint. Okay. I can't. Okay, it's not cracking or breaking yet. Seam side down. And it looks kind of, maybe it looks kind of crackly to you, but that's just the natural cake cracks and the, like the crust. That looks pretty darn good to me. Now, this is kind of funkified. That's not even a word, funkified, funkified. Let me get a really sharp knife. that one cut on that side. A serrated knife. Okay, I like how that could say cut better. powdered sugar. I'm just going to kind of wipe my plate. Center that a little better. Wipe my plate. Rolls a little funkified. Looks like from my cutting, my craziness, my obsessiveness, I have cracked it. Right down here, sauce is oozing, or filling is oozing. So, 
Good job, Chrissy. You did good until then. Well, what do you know? Okay. So, sauce. Chocolate sauce. It's been sitting for a while and it's cooled down a bit. You can make it thinner again and you know, warm it back up if you want to. And then it'll thicken again as it cools. That's totally up to you how you want to work the sauce, okay? There's a lot of sauce here. Gotta kind of focus on my split there. <laughs> down the edge there. You can make half the amount of sauce if you want. It's a lot of sauce. And since it's dark chocolate, it might be a little overpowering. And do some chocolate drizzles on the plate. Okay, some chocolate globs too. <laughs> What do you think, people? Chocolate roulade with raspberry cream. Can't say I'll be doing this anytime soon again. This gives me a lot of stress just because I am not um, good with the um, Swiss roll, jelly roll, roulade when it comes to cake. So how does it taste? <laughs> okay, so I might do this again. Oh my God. Oh my God. It tastes just like I wanted it to. Actually, lunch over there, homemade chicken nuggets. <laughs> what this? All right, with the chocolate sauce. Scrape a little off the paper. paper. Okay, let's try it with chocolate sauce. Did I tell you what I was making this for? Okay. <clears throat> Some of you may know, I homeschool my 12 year old son, Logan. And um, we, I met some other homeschool moms and we're a bunch of, um, we don't really fit in with other co-ops in our area. So we're forming our own co-op. And I will be teaching cooking and some of the other moms, uh, one's teaching nutrition, one's teaching music, one's teaching art, one's teaching history, and one is teaching, uh, one being a teaching assistant. The one teaching history is actually Logan's dad, my sweetheart. Well, we're having like a teacher's meeting tomorrow to kind of set up our schedule and when we want to do like class field trips and um, things, things like that. Well, I wanted to bring snacks to show off my cooking. I thought if I can nail this recipe that I've been working on, I will bring my chocolate roulade with the raspberry cream. I'm also bringing pound cake 
that I made a cherry, a sour cherry sauce to go with. I'm bringing several jars of my sweet and spicy watermelon pickle rinds. <clears throat> Some of my homemade um, sweet and sour sauce. Um, oh, the uh, sourdough garlic bites that I made the other day. Can't think of anything else that I'm bringing. I'm bringing a lot. Um, and for them to take home to their families too. So um, I think they'll have every confidence in me that I can teach their children the basics and life skills of cooking. So that meeting is tomorrow at noon. And I think this is going to be a huge hit. It has all the raspberry flavor I wanted it to have. The cake is moist and chewy and the chocolate sauce is divine and silky. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and once the chocolate sauce has hardened, uh, like a ganache should, I'm going to then cover it and then it'll be ready for my meeting tomorrow at noon. So wish me luck guys. Till next time.